In Geometry Dash, there always have been things that nobody thought would ever be done. But eventually, some of these impossible ideas became reality. The things that have been achieved in this video will gradually get more and more insane, from beating a demon a lot of times in a row to one of the craziest things I have ever seen. So be sure to watch until the end. Enjoy the video. Let's start off slow. There are a lot of professional players in Geometry Dash and when scrolling through all of these, you'll eventually reach a specific player called Speedy Muffin, who set a very weird world record. This guy is known for having some of the worst fills in the game, but one of the achievements he set was based on this level right here, Stereo Madness, which is the first level in the game and arguably the easiest one out of all the 21 main levels. So what did he do on this stupidly easy level? Well, he jumped exactly 42,069 times in one attempt. This was obviously done with speed hacks, but it still took him 3 hours to do this without making a single mistake. This achievement however wasn't thought to be impossible at all, unlike the stuff I'm about to cover very, very soon. One of these impossible things is based on this level right here. Firework. This is an extremely hard level with just a dozen of victors, so it wouldn't make sense if I was talking about a normal completion here. And I am not. Out of all the 15 players right here, one player did something that no one ever thought was going to happen. It was this guy, Kevin. When looking at completion, everything looks completely normal until you realize what's on the bottom of the screen. He was playing this top 3 hardest level on his controller. This is so incredibly impressive because the buttons are way harder to press, and most people play way more inconsistently with it. So the fact that he beat this on this device is nuts. However, the next thing I'm about to cover is so unbelievable that this specific thing blew everyone their minds. I'm talking about our sponsor called Raid Shadow Legends. Join me in one of the best games for iOS, Android and PC with new sets of champions to face against the Doom Tower and its outstanding new bosses. This huge tower right here is a giant prism packed with really nasty bad guys. And to climb to the top you have to create the best team of champions to get through difficult battles. And it's one heck of a ride. Lots of Doom Tower bosses ignore block debuffs, allowing them to penetrate your champion's defenses, drain their turn meters or strip their buffs, and you don't want that. One of the best champions in the game named Folly, and my personal favorite, is capable of taking out the entire enemy team with just a few spell combos, which is pretty insane. Raid Shadow Legends has events happening every single day, including an entirely new event for the Summer Solstice called the Path of Light. You will be able to explore 3 branching paths to get to the rewards you want the most, as well as new upcoming champions and a set of skins for the amazing Tronda guild mallet. But what have I said, you can also get your hands on Tiliana, one of the strongest support champions in the entire game. Obtain her for free through a special Tiliana chase event by just logging in and playing Raid for 7 days between now and July the 20th. So hurry up, as this is the perfect time to get started in Raid. And if you click my link in the description or scan my QR code here on the screen, you get unique bonuses worth $30, plus a free epic champion called Tayro, 200k silver, 1 energy refill, 1 XP boost and 1 Asian shard. So you can summon these awesome champions as soon as you get in game. All this treasure will be waiting for you right here. Once you are in game, just enter promo code MYDLIANA to get your hands on 50 XP brews to instantly get your legendary hero Deliana to max level 50, as well as a ton of silver. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video Raid Shadow Legends, however, let's get back into the video now. For the next thing on the list, we have to go back 9 years in time. Back when GD barely had any players, it was considered one of the hardest games to have ever existed. And in update 1.3, this statement was further proven with the addition of demons. But before these were added, Demon Park was meant to be one of the hardest levels in the game. And everyone thought it was impossible to verify this level, because it would have been top 1 at the time. Nobody expected though that Empty Coal would verify this level only 2 months after the release of the game. Actually, everyone was so surprised that even the game's creator, Robtop, commented on his completion, which is a pretty big flex to be honest. If you have ever beaten a level before in the game, you normally just go to the next one and try to beat that one. Some people though are so dedicated that they don't do this and instead try to grind them as much as they can, so they get incredibly consistent at them. Brandon Larkin was one of these people who is known for his rage reactions, and he had his eyes on decode, which is a demon level. His goal was to beat this as many times as he possibly could, and after a couple hours he beat it 15 times in a row, which took him 18 minutes of intense gameplay. But instead of talking about people beating levels, 
levels, let's talk about someone in a much smaller group of people. If you check out Jomtradish's leaderboard, you can see people with a couple 100,000 stars. And the number one spot has been taken by Smithy, whose reign has lasted for more than a year now, or so almost everyone thought. There is one person who beat the number one star grinder for just 4 minutes. It was Zane08, and he quadrupled the amount of stars from Smithy in just seconds by hacking the game. This of course isn't uncommon, since there are a lot of different tools for this, and you'll see it happen basically everywhere. But there's one thing that's odd about it. He got accepted into the leaderboards, which meant he bypassed some system to get into the leaderboards, or he actually was legit, which obviously can't be true for obvious reasons. And it still remains a mystery till this day. Before we get into the stuff that will really blow your mind, let me talk about one world record. It first was logically assumed that the lowest percentage possible was 1%, but after the addition of Mega Hack, more digits were available which made the world record I'll talk about possible. The person who set this record had slowed down the game 20,000 times in order to just get 0.001% on it. The level has to be incredibly hard for all these hacks to be used and that's true. It is made so the hitboxes are as tight as humanly possible making this, even with the game slowed down 20,000 times, an incredibly impressive achievement. Okay, time to take it up a notch. Everyone thinks of object heavy levels when they see this plus sign, which indicates that the level has more than 40,000 objects in it and that it might lack your device. There is a level though that breaks this limit by a huge margin, destroying the most object heavy levels like Glowy or Corn, which people actually thought was the most object heavy level, like me. A level named CC Local Levels looks very forgettable from the outside, but inside the editor it has more than 2 million objects that consist out of just spikes. There's a lot of weird stuff going on here, like the plus sign being complete gone, the level being updated minus 128 times, and some weird language in the comments, making this also one of the most broken levels in the game. So, most people know about the biggest fluke in GD, which is done by Artify, jumping from 9 circles, which is a hard demon, to one of the hardest levels in the game. But little did you guys probably know, that this jump is rifled by another really big one. Super FX is a Mario Kart speedrunner, and when seeing a small glimpse of his channel, it doesn't seem like anything special is going on. That is, until this video pops up. This guy jumped from Stereo Madness to an extreme demon, and this demon was called Artificial Ascent. He didn't beat any harder levels than Stereo Madness, which makes this an incredible achievement, since his skill was basically on beginner level when starting to play Artificial Ascent. Even though he never completed it, he got 92%, which people would have never thought could possibly happen. And since I'm talking about jumps, let's talk about the biggest jump you can actually make in GD. I know you can only jump 2 blocks high in the game, but someone called Scub found a way to basically reach infinite jumps height when standing on the same block. If you see this wall right here, you would definitely say there's no way of passing through it without any sort of no-clip hack, but that's not true. A specific method made this level right here actually possible, because by using a certain amount of frames per second and different speeds you can do this, basically reaching infinite jump heights. And now the final and most mind-blowing thing in my opinion, since nobody expected this to ever be possible in the game. Sonic Wave is a very famous level with hundreds of victors, but these people would never even think about recompleting this level, let alone beat it more than one times in a row. And Zanny did exactly that. Not only did he beat the level more than 30 times already, but this made him so consistent that he managed to do one of the most incredible things this game has ever seen. He managed to beat Sonic Wave not once, not two times, but three times in a row. I hope you enjoyed the video and be sure to watch this video right here. Goodbye and be sure to subscribe.